Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about your menstrual cycle and cravings. Now, the menstrual cycle is very complex, so I'm not going to get into the complexities. We're just going to talk about generally what's happening during uh, certain parts of the cycle and if you crave at certain points what you would need, okay? So here's day 14 when you're ovulating, okay? Day 28, and then you're going to right before your um, actual menstruation where you're having your period right here, okay? So now, if you are craving during ovulation, that means there's a problem with estrogen. So you would need to consume more cruciferous vegetables and or seek help because iodine and cruciferous vegetables really help to balance estrogen, all right? So that's what you do during this phase right here. But most women crave right before they menstruate, okay? So, um, this is the kind of phase where, the, where they have PMS. So they may have a lot of mood issues, irritability, depression. Um, so you have a lot going on, not to mention cravings for all sorts of things, chocolate, you know, whatever. So what you want to do if you have uh, a problem at this point is you need a lot more B vitamins, okay? I recommend nutritional yeast. And whatever it says to take on the bottle, if you're taking tablets, double the dosage. Okay, especially vitamin B1. That's going to really help this phase right here. Uh, if you can get some sun to get vitamin D, that would be also good. Um, but mainly it's uh, B vitamin deficiency and vitamin C deficiency. Vitamin C is really important in this phase as well, and you can diminish the symptoms. So you can get vitamin C from sauerkraut, or you can get it from the store, but make sure it's a food-based vitamin C. Don't just take synthetic vitamin C like ascorbic acid, a food base. But sauerkraut is actually really good because that will also help your digestion as well. Now, what about during the cycle itself? You could have cravings, you can have cramps. Um, so you have a whole series of things that happen, excessive bleeding. So at this point, the, the best remedy would be a calcium magnesium in the form of an orotate. It's called orotate, calcium orotate. Sometimes you can get it co combined, but I like the orotate because it penetrates the cell a lot deeper. But calcium magnesium will dramatically improve your cramping and cravings if you have them right during your period, okay? Now, post-menstruation, uh, right here, you probably lost some blood and you're going to be low in iron, maybe a little anemic, and you might crave things as well. Especially if you like crave ice, you're chewing an ice, that's an iron deficiency. So I would recommend red meat is make sure it's grass fed, but that's going to actually put the iron back in pretty fast. Um, also, you can get different forms of iron in the green, green leafy vegetables and definitely kale, like a kale shake, red meat. That would be really good post your cycle, especially if you crave certain things. Now, if, you're, if you've gone through menopause, it's a little different situation because you're no longer having your cycle, but maybe you just crave in general, or maybe you have like a a hint of a cycle coming on, but it doesn't kind of go through. Um, so the number one um, deficiency that shows up in menopause is a vitamin E deficiency. And a lot of the vitamin E is stored in the pituitary gland to actually, as a precursor to make sex hormones like estrogen and testosterone and things like that. So because you're not having your cycle, uh, you're not needing those hormones, the vitamin E really drops dramatically in the body. So if you were to increase vitamin E, you would see some great improvements. Uh, raw sunflower seeds are probably your best bet. Some of the other seeds would be good too, but it can't be roasted, it has to be raw. Almonds, really important. And leafy greens, uh, like even uh, snap peas or green beans are really good. Anything green is gonna give you good amounts of vitamin E. Now, if you're low in uh, estrogen and you're having like say hot flashes, boron is really, really good as well. That's a mineral, a trace mineral that can elevate estrogen. It's not going to bring it out of the range, but it's going to bring it to a normal level. Okay. So there you have it. That's a little summary of what you would do for various cravings at certain points of your menstrual cycle. Thanks for watching. So if you don't have this book, you might want to check it out. It's entitled, It's Not Lose Weight to Get Healthy, It's Get Healthy to Lose the Weight. 
healthy ketosis and intermittent fasting. Check it out. I put a link down below.